Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much to my subscribers. Welcome newcomers. I hope you guys like what you see and if so, be part of this journey with us. One big happy family. Uh, please, if you have not subscribed, for the ones that are just walking in, please do so. It's free, you know that. Hit that bell notification to be notified of the new uploads. I also have a private crochet group. You're more than welcome to join us and the beautiful queens there. Um, as long as you have a profile pic, I uh, also have a Facebook page. You can follow me, Instagram, and also TikTok. All of these links will be below in the description box. Uh, all you have to do is just click below and click the links, and there you go. Uh, thank you so much for the women that have come through to help others in need of thread, either through donation or sending out the thread yourselves. <clears throat> Excuse me. Thank you so much. Um, also in the description box, there is a two minute video for people that need to know how to slow down their video and turn on your closed caption, zoom in the screen to see the stitch better. Um, so that's just two minutes of it. A lot of you still don't know how to do that. Uh, you can click there and check it out. Okay. So we're going to get started. These are four ply, hundred percent cotton thread. We go by color number here in Portugal, not by name, especially with this brand. These are similar thickness as Aunt Lydia number three. Cotton Aunt Lydia number three is a little bit thicker, so your patterns become bigger. You should know by now, if your stitch is too tight, go a hook or two bigger. If it's too uh, loose, go a hook or two smaller. We don't want to have a baggy pattern and uh, we're going to get started. I use most of the time 2.75 hook or a three, depending upon the pattern that I'm creating, a small one to tuck in, loose ends, and of course, a pair of scissors. Okay, everyone, thank you so much again. Okay, everyone, so we're gonna do a centerpiece. If you use mac macrame thread, it could be perfect as a novel rug for any room. Uh, we'll need a few markers to make sure that we don't get uh, lost in between. I'm going to use 2.75 hook. These are four ply, 100% cotton thread. I will be mixing some colors in between, um, but I'm not sure yet at this point which colors I'm going to be mixing. Always look ahead of the video to make sure that we are on the right path. And sometimes mistakes can be done. I'm far away from being perfect, and I create this as I go. So we're going to get started, everyone. Okay, thank you. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. So I'm using a light cream color. I'm going to start off with slip stitch and then 55 chain stitch. I'll meet you at the end of my chain stitch. I've done my 55 chain stitch. I'm going to go back on my fourth. One, two, three, four. Grabbing both loops. We don't want it to curve like a U shape. And now we're going to do one per stitch, one double crochet per stitch until the end. We should have 53 double crochets at the end. So I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I've done 53 double crochets. Now, I'm going to come inside of this last double crochet. I'm going to do a single and two chain. So this is my first double crochet, my second, my third, fourth, fifth and sixth on my way back I'll complete the seventh in reality we'll have seven double crochets when I get around I'll do seven one more and then I'm coming on top of the double crochets one per stitch If you find it easier to use a smaller hook to 
get into the stitch here because some of you might have a very tight stitch <clears throat> by all means but make sure you stretch your thread enough because the small hook will have the double crochet smaller okay so i'll meet you at the corner okay everyone so i've done 51 double crochet on this very last one here we're going to use it to do the seven double crochets so i have two three four five six and seven I'm going to come into that first double crochet with double crochet. So I'm going to complete 51 double crochets on this side. That's not counting the seven, okay? All the way to the end. So I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone. So I've done my 51 double crochet. I need to come in here and complete the seventh one from the corner. Remember I said we'd complete it once I'd come back. I've done my seven in this corner, closed with slip stitch. I'm going to go into the next stitch with a single and one chain. I'm stretching my thread into the same one. I'm going to do another double crochet. So I'm going to create five groups of incomplete double crochet. That means into the next stitch half double crochet and another half oops sorry i need to do a two chain that's why it's good to look ahead so chain two into the next stitch half another half and now close it together so i have two groups already chain two into the next stitch half into the same one and half again close it together chain two into the next stitch half half and close it together so i have four and again half in the same stitch another half so now i have five groups of incomplete double crochet chain two coming into that first stitch still doing half into the next stitch half and into the next one. So now I have three halves closing it together. Chain two into the next stitch. We're gonna proceed this way until we hit that corner. So first half, next stitch, second half, next stitch, third half, closing it together. Chain two, if your stitch is extremely tight, you can do a chain three, half, half, and another half okay so I'll meet you at the end of my row okay everyone so counting from the very first one on that first double crochet from the 51 double crochets not the corner one so we have 17 groups of the incomplete chain two now we're going to do the corner and we're going to do the two double crochets in the same stitch, the incomplete, and two chain again into the next one. Now we should have seven in the corners here, and we'll complete the other two when we come back to this end. Okay, so if you want to put a marker just to make sure that you don't get confused. I usually know what I'm doing. I usually don't put markers, obviously, but you know, for you people might. So I'm going to put it right here. So that's the 17 and now I'm going to do seven and complete exactly the same amount as the seven double crochets we have here on the corner. Okay. 
So I've done my seven groups of the two and complete double crochet with two chain space, chain two, and now we're going to repeat what we've done on the other side. One into the next stitch, two, and three, and close it together. And you should have 17 groups of the three also on this side. Okay, I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I put the marker also between the two incomplete and the three incomplete. So that's my seven on this corner. So now we're going to complete the other two that's missing. So one half and on the same stitch, the second half. Chain two into the next one, half into the same stitch, the other half and close it together chain two and I'm going to close it right on the first one we did. So now we have the seven on this side. This is just for you guys to have an idea because the next row it's going to be all the same including the corners but make sure that you guys understood. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we start 17 groups of three and complete. Now we're going to go inside of this um, space here with a single and one chain or two for some of you, and we're going to do three and complete double crochet and close it together. Chain three into the next one. One, two, and three. Close it together. We're going to do this all the way around the same way. Three chain space between them. There's no difference on all of them. It's, it's three and complete double crochets. I'll meet you at the end. So we're going to call this, we won't call this row one, that's the middle one. So one, two, going into the third row, okay? We don't count the middle one here. So where we started the seven double crochet will be row one, two, and three. Okay, everyone, so I've closed in with slip stitch. Now, I just wanted you to put your marker so you don't get mistaken. So I moved my marker up. That means I put it in between, if you look carefully. It was here, so I went right up. That's in between the two halves and the three. And one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, which is between the two halves and the three. Okay? And we'll do the same, well, from here now, to make sure that you're not mistaken, we know that the three is right up top, right? So we're going to count 17. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. Because we'll be doing different uh, on this row on the corners than on the flat sides. Okay, so I've closed in with slip stitch, and I'm going to come in. So this is one, two, three, row four, single, one chain. I'm going to do another chain for a space and double crochet. One chain for a space. Only the seven on the corners, we're going to do three double crochet. I'm going to come directly into the next one with double crochet. One chain and doing the three double crochet separated by one chain. Okay, only when you're going into the next one, we don't do any chain. So this is my second double crochet, one chain. My third. Directly into the next one. One chain. My second double crochet. And my third double crochet. One, two, three, four. This is my fifth group. I'll complete the other two when I come around to it. One chain, double crochet. 
one chain, double crochet. Okay, now no chain on the sides here because we're going to start already at the um, flat side. One double crochet, one chain, one double crochet directly into the next one, one double crochet, one chain. So the two sides 17 times, we'll call them the V's, okay, because they're like these, 17 times, and then we go with the three on the corners, okay, we should have seven of three double crochet, one chain space between them. So I'll meet you at the other corner where I put my marker. All you have to do is count your 17 V's. Okay, everyone. So I've done my 17 V's. And now I'm going into the corner with three double crochet. One chain space. My second. And my third directly into the next one. One chain, and again. So we'll do this seven times and then continue on the other side with the 17 Vs. Just remember that we go directly from one, one place to the other. Okay, so once I complete my seven, one, two, three, four, five, wait a minute, make sure I have it right. Let me just recount mine to make sure that I didn't do a mistake. Okay, everyone. So I was recounting mine and I had to make sure I had the hook on the wrong one. So <clears throat> that's all there was to it. So just make sure that when you are putting your, your marker, not the hook, the marker. So this would be like from the two incomplete correct and then it falls into the normal v right after so if you count right in between one two three four five six and this will be your seventh which ends up exactly the opposite direction from the right on top of the two incomplete as you can see there and um, exactly on this one, it ends right on top of the two and complete right there, that direction. Okay. So now I've done my 17. And now we end up right on top of that two in the bottom here. And do the three. So that's a way to guide you properly. And then I'll take off my marker and just bring it up top in between the V and the three. So there is no mistake. There is no chain here. So you go directly into the next one. One chain, you start doing your seven groups again of the three double crochets, one chain space in between them. Okay, so you do your seven, I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I've completed one, two, three, and four. Now, like I told you, if you wanna make sure that you are on the right track, you know that your three fall right on top of this uh, two down here. Okay, and also the same way here. 
Okay, so you should have your 17. And then, of course, here the same thing on this side, your 3. And then it stops on top of the other one. So you should have your 7. We're going to repeat this row the same way again. Okay, so we're going to repeat these Vs. The only difference is we're going to come inside of this first space of the first, um, or should I say, one, two, three, on uh, fourth, uh, three double crochets. That's where we've stopped. We've connected with a slip stitch. I'm going to do a single one chain and one more first space. So we're doing Vs inside of each one into the next one directly. Double crochet, one chain space, and double crochet again. This whole row will be like this. One chain, one double crochet into the next one. One chain, one double crochet into the next one. So you know that when you're going from one to another, there is no chain, only inside of the V. Double crochet, one chain. And again, so we'll be having 14 V's on the corners this time. Okay, so when we come back, we'll complete the other ones here. But you're to have 14 V's in the corners. I'm coming in to that first of the 17 and just repeating V inside of V into the next one. So we'll be doing 17 times those V's that are on, on the sides, okay? Here is different. We're doing one per uh, space here, okay? Inside of the V's into the next one, one chain, one double crochet, into the next one, one, one double crochet, one chain, one double crochet. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end where I have my marker. So I have my 17 Vs, and now we're going to do start the corner. Obviously, you know where the corner starts because you have those three double crochets, right? So coming in that first space, double crochet, one chain, back into the same stitch, V. Into the second one, double crochet, one chain, V. And you continue on till we have 14 Vs. into the next one just make sure when you're going you're not doing any chain stitch or you're going to be confused okay only to create the v we do the chain stitch i'll meet you at the end okay everyone so i've done my 14 so i have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and now we do the 17 V's on the straight line on the sides here. So going directly into my V, double crochet, create a V. So we're just repeating the V's here 17 times. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so we've completed row five. One, two, three, four, five, going to row six. Row six is a repeat of row five. 
So coming inside of my first V, single, one chain, and one more for space. So my first V is built. Going into the second V with a V. That's all there is to it. It's just a repeat of what we've just done. Okay, so it's not like we can make a mistake because it's just going inside of the V's, creating V's, okay? Unless you skip one, of course, then you'll have the mistake. Don't forget there is no chain space going into the next V, go directly, and only one chain to create that V. So two double crochets inside of the V's, one chain space. This is row six. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone. So we've completed one, two, three, four, five, six. Now just make sure that you put your markers again. Remember we have the two and the three, right? And we have the last group here of the three double crochets. If you go on the last one here straight up, you should count your 14 Vs, which the marker is on the first V on that first three double crochets we have here. So the first V going up, and that should give you your 14 uh, count. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And you do the same thing on the other side. Okay? So going into row seven. Now, row seven, we're still going to repeat the V's. The only difference is we'll have a two chain space on the oval part. So single, one chain single one chain for my double crochet and two for space on the V. Okay, coming into the next one, double crochet, two chain space now, only on the oval part, on the 14 Vs, okay? The straight sides are one chain space only. Chain two, create your Vs. Again, Next one, chain two, and the Vs, okay? So we're going to go until the marker. So I've done my 14, well, not 14, I'll complete it once I get here. I've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and two chain space on the V. Now from here on, the side of the pattern the 17 V's are only with one chain space, okay? So double crochet, one chain, and double crochet into the next one. So only the 14 on the edges, on the corners, okay? As I have here also, the first three double crochets, so straight up the V. So you count one, two, three, four, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14, which is the last three double crochets we have here. So the last V going up on that last double crochet. So I'll meet you at the end of this row. Okay, everybody. So we finished row 7, going to row 8. There's a little bit of a change here. So I've closed in with slip stitch. I'm going to come back in. You need to pay attention here because it's a little bit different. Single on top of the one that we've closed in. One, two, three chain. Coming into the first double crochet of the V and another single. So we'll have two singles from V to V. One, two, three chain again, coming on top of that double crochet and a single again. So two singles. We need to have a total of 11 loops here of three chain on the oval, but I'll let you know 
exactly where you are going to have those 11 loops, okay? So coming in again, single, and another single. One, two, three, chain. Single, and another single. So I need to do six, okay? One, two, three, four. Three chain. This is my fifth loop of three chain. I need one more and then we'll put a marker just to make sure we don't get lost anywhere. One more single. One, two, three. And I should have six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Because then we'll complete the other ones. When we come here, we'll have a total of 11. Now, here it's going to change. I'm going to do... Uh, we're not coming into the double crochet with single. I'm going to do two, three. And coming in the center. Okay? So you might want to put a marker just to make sure that you are not losing yourself somewhere. So I'm just going to put a marker on that one. One, two, three, and into the center of the next one. One, two, three, chain in the V with a single. One, two, three, chain in the V with a single. One, two, three, chain in the V with the single. Okay. So we're going to continue to do that until we have, I believe, 28 loops. But I'm going to continue mine, then I'll come back to you and tell you the count, how many loops of three chain we have. Okay, everyone. So counting from the very first one we did here, just so you don't get lost. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Until you do... 28 loops of three chain. I'm going to put another marker. This is my 28. And now we're going to change a bit. Again, we need to do exactly how we did with the other one, with the adjustment. So this is my 28. Now we're not counting this anymore. One, two, three. I'm going to come on top of that second double crochet with single and then one two three on top of the next double crochet and start the singles the two singles one two three and again on top of the double crochet single next stitch single one two three on top of the double crochet of the V and single and another single. Okay. Now we should count one, two, three, four until we have 11. Okay, everyone. So I had to take it down because I made a mistake. And usually when I make a mistake, I don't add it so you can see that, you know, we all make mistakes. I could have simply added it and whatever. Okay, so we have 27. That's including with the very first one we did. So on my 28th one, so 27 loops of uh, three chain. On my 28, I'm going to come directly on top of this second double crochet here with a single. And I'm going to put this on here on my 28. I'm going to put my marker and I'm going to count this as one loop already. Okay. So three chain. I apologize for that, but sometimes it's common. These things happen. Coming in again with single, next stitch single. So now we're going to do 11 loops so coming into the next v here with a single and a single 
one, two, three, again, single and a single. So one, two, three, four, until we get 11. Okay, everyone, so I've done my 11. That's counting the loop, the 28 loop. I went directly on the second double crochet here with the single and started doing my three chain loops. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm not going to do the single on the next one. I'm going to come in right on the center. I'm going to put my marker also. Just so we don't get lost anywhere. So this is the eleventh. And then again, it's counting already as one for the side. So we need to do 20, um, 27 loops again. So counting with this one, one, two, three, on each at the end. Okay, everyone. So this is how we're going to do it. So I had mentioned 28. It's not 28. I had counted the 28 but it was when we first started on this side remember so we did the 11 now we're going to start counting right after we put our marker on this 11 we're going to count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 and 20 20 loops of three chain. Now we're going to do the adjustment. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Twenty loops of three chain. Now we're going to do the adjustment. One, two, three, and we're going in that second double crochet. One, oops, we have to do the other single. Sorry, no, I don't know what's going on with me. One, two, three. I was right. Just bear with me, people. Sometimes it can I confuse myself. And another single. Okay, so after your 20, you do it and you hook on the second double crochet with a single three chain and over the V, two singles. One, two, three. We're going to put the marker just so you don't get lost. We need to have those 11 on this side also, and that started right here. So, coming into the next one, and again a single, one, two, and three, and another single, one, two, and three. So, we already have that single there, we're just going to slip stitch. Now, I'm going to count backwards just to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Okay, so perfect on both sides. The same thing. Okay, everyone. So we've completed row eight. I've cut in my thread. Now I'm just going to take these top hooks off. So we don't get confused. And now we're going to be working popcorn stitch, which we will start here where I have my, my hook. That means where you're supposed to have this one, which is the very first one, right? The loop right before it. So I'm going to start my first of 15 popcorn. And why do I say 15? because it's the corner one, okay? So I'm going to start on this one, and you can count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. That means a loop just before that marker there on the third one. And so we'll have our 15... And you can also remove this one. Let's 
So I'm going to hook, we already know it's one before. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, I lost track. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So we know it's on this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So I have them already marked, so there is no no mistake. I'm gonna come in with the Tiffany blue, but I absolutely love these blues. And we're gonna start with the popcorn stitch. slip stitch knot and I'm going to start where I put my marker with a single and I'm going to do five double crochets so single one and two chain, that's my first double crochet, my second, my third, fourth, and my fifth double crochet. I'm gonna come on my second chain here and close it up. So that's my first popcorn. I'm going to do four chain. One, two, three, and four. That's why we needed to mark because there's a difference of the chain. On this side, we'll be doing three chain only. One, two, three, four, and five. Coming in that first double crochet and closing it up. One, two, three, four, and five. Not five. Oh my goodness. Five is on the popcorn. Four chain. One, two, three, four, and five and closing it up one two three four okay so that's what we're going to do until the marker you should have 15 popcorns with four chain the rest is three chain okay and of course on this side too the same thing our first marker we start doing the four chain on the popcorn until here and then the rest is three chain but I'll meet you here at the other um, the other mark okay everyone so I've done my 15 popcorns with four chain and now I'm going to do the side ones until my marker with three chain only okay so simple I've done one already to hold my popcorn two three and then continue from there and repeat the same thing on the other side. So five double crochets and three chain. One, two, and three. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I finished the popcorn stitch. Now, to make sure that you are on the right track, remember we started to do that first popcorn, which if you see the three double crochets down here, so we have it right up here, right on this one here. Okay, so one over. And I'm counting from the, the three stitch 
are the four stitch we've done. So I'm not even counting from the popcorn. I'm counting from the stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Okay? So I've put my marker on. And then from the stitch again, with the three chain, we're going to count seventeen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. This is where we've closed off. And then if you count on this side also, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Okay? So that would be the right way to get it um you know, uh, your uh, corners even. Everyone, so I've cut in my Tiffany blue thread coming back in with the cream color. And I'm going to start right after my marker. And I'm going to do three double crochets. So single, two chain, and two more. Dogs are going crazy. There's neighbors working in construction and they they just go wild. Chain two into the next one. Three double crochet. Chain two into the next one. Three double crochet. Chain two. So we're going to have 15 groups here on the uh, corners of these three double crochets and two chain. At the edges here, we'll have one chain space and only two double crochet. So three double crochet, two chain. Okay. Okay, everyone. So I've done my 15 groups of three double crochet, two chain. So I've started right on the popcorn after my marker here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And it lands right on my marker. And I'm gonna do one chain and two double crochet only. We're gonna do this 17 times, so 17 groups of two double crochet, one chain space between them. And then getting, once you've done your 17, then you start uh, with your three double crochet and two chain for the oval 15 times exactly how we did here. So you have your marker. You shouldn't go wrong because if you count from here now, you're 17, you should be adding up over here. So I have um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So it lands right on the marker as I have here. And then you start your three uh, double crochet and your three chain until your 15th, which should end on the other side. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so we completed row 10. Now row 10, don't forget, it's counting from where we started those double crochets here on the curves. Not the middle one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight the chain loops nine and ten okay so we have the 17 groups i'm gonna do the walk as i call it with a slip stitch through the center <clears throat> of my first space here and i'm going to do two chain and three double crochet it's going to change bit here on the corner chain two into the next one 
three double crochet again. So we're this corner we're gonna build two groups of two a uh, three double crochet and two chain two chain again. Now this one we're gonna do four double crochet one two three and four two chain and two groups of three double crochet again until we meet our marker two chain and three double crochet again so we're going to alter alternate two groups of three one group of four two groups of three and one group of four until our marker okay everyone so if I count properly after my marker we started with the three because we did the lock okay on our way back we'll complete um, this one here so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and fourteen 14 groups. So we have one, two, three, four groups of four. I'm going to do two chain. Coming into the next one, I'm doing the two double crochets only, exactly how we did in the previous row, which is right after the three double crochets. Uh, chain one. Two double crochet. Chain one. Two double crochet. Chain one. Two double crochet. Now on this row here on the sides, you should have 18 groups of two double crochet and one chain. Okay? So I'll meet you at the end. So I've done my 18 groups of two. And it lands right where we have the marker. And now I start my two groups of three with two chain. And then do my four double crochets. Two chain. So I've done my two groups and now four double crochets. Two chain and again two groups. So I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone. So pretty much on the marker is where I started my first group of two. So we have 14 groups all together, starting right after the marker. So we have two, and right after we're doing the three, the two groups of three, and then four. Two groups of three, four, two groups of two, of three, four, two groups of three, four, two groups of three, and then at the marker, right after, you can see here there's a three double crochet right after, we're doing the groups of two now with one chain space. So you're 14 groups on one side and 14 groups on the other side. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We finished row eleven. Now I'm going to come back in doing a single on top of that double crochet where we start the three double crochets and two chain. That's my first double crochet. Into my second, my third. Now where we have the two chains, we're doing two double crochet and one per stitch. This whole row will be about double crochets all the way around on my two chain stitch, two double crochet. And on the sides here where we have one chain, 
we're doing only one double crochet and one per stitch. That's all we have to do. I'll meet you all the way around at the end. Okay, everyone. So we finished row 12, going to row 13. I'm coming in with a deeper blue. And this blue is number 32. Gorgeous. And I'm going to start exactly where we've been starting. We're closing in the rows. Now, on this row 13, we're going to have increases on every sixth double crochet. So, single to chain into the next stitch double crochet. So that's my second, my third, my fourth, only on the oval, fifth, and on my sixth one I'm adding an increase two together. That means two double crochet on the same stitch. And again, one, two, three, four, five, and six. One more on the same stitch. I'm going to continue doing that more or less until my marker on the other side. I'll let you know how many increases I have. Okay. Okay, everyone. So I've done so far 12 increases. I will do one more when I get here. So I'll have 13 increases. So now we're going to do one per stitch until about the other marker. And I'll let you know how many double crochets I have done after my last increase. Okay. Okay, everyone. So I've done 58 double crochets. Now I'm going to add one more here on the same stitch on my 58 and start counting one, two, three, four, five. And six increase okay so I'm going to continue doing and then I'll meet you more or less where my marker is okay everyone so I have 13 increases and after my last increase I have <clears throat> 55 double crochets and I'm coming in where I did my first double crochet, which is the increase. I'm going to cut my thread, tuck in my loose ends. Okay, everyone, going into row 14, so I'm coming back in with my cream color, and I'm going to continue to do one more row of double crochets. I'm not doing any increases. So one per stitch, starting where I left off, doing my single, two chain, and one double crochet per stitch. So that's all there is to it on this row. So I'll come back to you at the end of my row. No increase, just one per stitch. Okay, everyone, finished row 14, going to row 15. And I'm going to do 
coming back in single next stitch single and next stitch single so I have three singles one two three four five six seven eight chain skip one two three four five come into your sixth single single next stitch single so three singles one per stitch eight chain again we're going to do this all the way around the same way A chain one skip one two three four five come in your sixth and singles three singles okay so to my count it should be perfect counting if not we'll do an adjustment at the end no biggie okay so I'll meet you at the end okay everyone so finished row 14 Going into row 15, I have 35 loops of 8 chain. When I came to the end, I had one extra double crochet, so I just, instead of skipping 5, I skipped 6 and closed in on my single. So no biggie, only one double crochet extra. So this time I'm coming in with the white, because I want these flowers to pop up. So I'm going to start in here, single, two chain. That's my first double crochet. I'm going to do six double crochets total. Now I'm sure in some of the patterns you've seen me create this flower that I absolutely love and I think it brings such charm to the pattern. Two, four, six, chain two. And six more. So we have 12 total, two chain in between the two groups is six. Now I'm going to come directly in that middle where we have that single, but on the double crochet below that middle single with a single front post. And then I'm going directly again into the center of my A chain and creating those 12 double crochets again, the first six, and then two chain, and then six more. One, two, three, four, five, six, two chain, and again. Six more double crochets. This is how we're going to do this row all the way around. So I have my six, two chain, and six. Again, that middle single right below on that double crochet. Front post single and directly into that chain creating those 12 double crochets again. Two chain space between the six group. Group of six, two chain, group of six. Two chain, and again, six double crochets. That's all we're gonna do. We're gonna repeat all the way around the same way.
Okay, so I'll meet you at the end of my row. Okay, everyone, so finished row 16, going to row 17. I'm going to come back in with that deeper blue. Now, you could use this as green if you want to uh, have the color leaves green. I'm going to use this color. I'm not going to go into the green. So I'm pretty much going to come here where we have the single on the middle. I'm going to come in and do a single and two chain. So that's my first double crochet and five more chain for space. Three, four, five. So I'm creating V's. I'm coming back in that single and I have my first V. One, two, three, four, five chain. Coming inside of that two chain space, I bent it, bent that leaf over with a single. One, two, three, four, five. And again, coming in the center of that single that we did, we had done three singles. And again, creating double crochet and five chain. Two, three, four, five. Coming back in, creating a V like that. Five chain. One, two, three, four, five. So it's bent forward and coming in between that two chain in the bottom. So it's better to be bent with a single. One, two, three, four, five. And in the middle of that single in the back. And create your double crochet. One, two, three, four, five. Back in the same stitch and create your V. We're going to repeat this all the way around the same way. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, finished row 17, going to row 18. So I've closed in with slip stitch on my second chain from where I went up, single to chain. I'm going to come in and do a single and two chain. That's my first double crochet. I'm going to create groups of four double crochet. We are doing the popcorn. So I'm coming on that first one and closing it in. Three chain. Coming uh, sorry, three chain, coming back in that center with single and three chain again. Coming back in that V, we're working inside of the V, creating four double crochets again for the other, the second popcorn. So it's two popcorns per V, coming into that first one, closing it in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven chain this time. Skipping all of this and coming back in to that V again, creating my popcorn. Four double crochet. Coming in that first one, closing it in. One, two, three chain. Coming back in that V with single. One, two, three chain. Coming back in the V, doing four double crochets again for my second popcorn. So I have four double crochets, closing it in on the first one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And again, four double crochets for your popcorn. This is how we're going to do this row all the way around the same way. I'll meet you at the end. I'm cutting my thread after this. And I'm going to come in with the turquoise, the Tiffany blue.
okay? So I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so finished row 18, going to row 19. I think that's what it is. Let me just check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So row 19, coming back in with my Tiffany blue. Creating those popcorns for the flowers now. So if you had done green, this would have been like your leaves. I'm going to come back in. Right in the center here of both popcorns. And do four double crochets. Trying to hide this little thread here. Same thing as we did the popcorn. So single to chain right in the center. So I have three and four. Closing my popcorn up. One, two, and three chain. Again, coming back in and creating four double crochets for the second popcorn. So these are my flowers. But you can use whatever color you'd like, especially if you're creating in whites and reds. It's just absolutely stunning. One, two, three, four chain. I'm going to come where the single is and close in here the two chains together. One, two, three, four chain. If your tension is tight, you can do a five chain. And in the center of the next popcorns, creating those popcorns again. Four double crochet. Closing it in on the first one. Three chain. That's all we're going to do. We're going to repeat this all the way around the same way. And I'll meet you at the end of my row. I'll be cutting my thread after this, coming back in with the white. Four chain into that single and a single. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everybody, going into row 20, you can start pretty much anywhere. I'm going to start in the middle of my two popcorns here, my flowers, and doing single, two chain. I'm going to complete inside of this three chain, five double crochets. Three, four, and five. Now I'm going to come inside and come out on the other side here and do a single front post. Then I'm coming into this four chain and creating five double crochets. Two, three, four, and five. Grabbing the white and closing with singles. I'm pretty much closing my flower out. Again, on the blue, doing the five double crochets on the turquoise, I should say. One, two, three, four, and five. This time I'm coming from the out into that middle and single front post and then five in the center again. So I'm just going to repeat what I've done here. And I'm going to actually grab both chains here so it can stay nice and hidden. Just realize that it's popping out, so I don't like that. And usually I don't add it when I make a mistake, so you can see it. So we've done that 
try that again. That single. I'm going to come in and I'm going to grab both chains so I can stay hidden. Two, three, four, and five. Coming in that white with single. And then grabbing both chains also here and doing the five double crochets. Two, three, four, and five. Now I'm gonna come from that turquoise and doing a single. And then coming back in, doing the five double crochets on this three chain between the two um, popcorn on the Tiffany blue. One, two, three, four, and five. Coming in and out of the other side and doing a single. So we're pretty much just repeating what we just did. And again, grabbing those two chains. One, two, three, four, and five. Again, grabbing that white. And single. So I have my first flower closed out. How pretty is that? Okay, so that's what we're going to continue to do. Again, grab those two chains and do your five double crochets. Two, three, four, and five. This is my last row, by the way, people. Coming from in, not on this one, sorry, on this one. Single. And then five inside, five double crochets inside of the three chain here between both popcorns. So I have two, three, four, and five coming from in, out, and single. And again, grabbing those two chains together. One, two, three, four, and five. Grabbing that white and single. Well, this does it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed my new creation, my new design, bits and pieces from different patterns and put it together and this is the outcome. I will leave the measurements below, a little video to display to show you how it looks like. And uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial. If you haven't subscribed, please do so and give a thumbs up on the video. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. And until next time, God bless. Bye-bye, everyone.